Hey everyone, so one of my favorite ways to pass time is playing board games. So today I thought I would teach you the basics of one of my favorite games, chess. So we're going to start right up here with these guys. This whole front row is made up of pawns, and pawns can move one of three ways. On their first turn, pawns can move two spaces, but normally they only move one space. And pawns only ever move straight forward. They never go backwards and they never go to the side or diagonally. Um, that is except when they are attacking. So if you want to take another person's piece with your pawn, you have to go diagonally. So if these two pieces were here, I would not be able to get this piece, but I could move my pawn this way and get this piece. It's a little confusing, um, but normally pawns just move straight, one space at a time. All right, so then next we'll move on to these guys. These ones in your back corners, there's one here and there's one here. These are called rooks. And rooks can move, let's pretend that one's not there. Rooks can move straight back and forth or side to side as far as they can go. So I can move this one all the way up, but as soon as I hit another piece, that's when it stops moving. And if it's another player's piece, then I take it. However, if my piece was there, I could only move, oops, I could only move to the space before it. Okay, so I can't jump over any pieces with that one. So we'll reset. These ones, which you have here and here, are called knights. They look like little horses. Knights are, I think, the most fun piece because they don't move in a line, they move in an L. So you can go one, two spaces forward, and then one space to either side. So it moves like an L. And then once there are, these are the only piece that can jump over any other pieces. So if there's a pawn here, I could go one, two, and one. So they go two front, one to the side, or they can go two to the side, in either one forward or backwards, but there's a piece here, so I can only move forwards from here. Okay, so just remember that those move like an L. All right, and from here we have bishops. They look like this. They're on either side of your king and queen, and they move in diagonals. So let's pretend that piece is there. It can move here. So it goes straight, or diagonally back and forth. So it can go forwards and backwards as far as it can go, but again, just like the rook, once it hits another piece, it has to stop. Or if I had a piece, uh, if I had a piece here, it couldn't move. So it can't jump over any pieces. And if I had a piece here, then it would stop on that spot right before it. Okay? And then now we have our royal pieces. So we have our queen which is the most powerful piece in the game. She can move forwards, backwards, side to side, and diagonal in any direction as far as she can go. So she can't jump over any pieces, but she can go as far as possible without jumping over any pieces in absolutely any direction. Now your king is maybe your weakest piece, but it's the one that you want to protect. So the object of the game is to get the other player's king in what's called a bear trap. I mean, a uh, checkmate, which is basically just like a, bi um, a bear trap. So meaning, no matter what they do on their next move, you can get their king out. No matter if they move their king, if they move another piece, no matter what, you can get their king. Okay? So king kings can move, but they can go any direction, but they can only move one square at a time. So if I'm here, I could go here, any direction, but I'm only moving one space at a time. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are protecting your king while you're also trying to get the other person's king. Now this is how a board is set up, so it's pretty pretty easy to figure out. My only tip for you is that your queens will always go on whatever color they are. So the white queen is on the white tile and the black one is on the black tile. Okay, queens are very fashionable. They'll always be, they always start on their collars. So there you have it. There are your chess basics. I hope you guys are able to give it a shot and maybe try to learn the game um, and play with someone in your family or a friend. 
Um, I hope you are all doing well, um, and I hope you have a wonderful day.